welcome to the Behind the Music edition of Daily Hope for this weekend. When I began to plan services for Memorial Day weekend, I wasn't aware of what was going to take place in Texas. And yet somehow the things that I had selected still seemed fitting because this weekend is a time for us to mourn and to reflect and to think about how we can be better and do better and to just pray for God's leadership in everything that we do. One of the hymns that I had selected and that we'll be singing on Sunday is by a woman named Olive Spanaus. She was born in 1916, so she was born during World War I. When she went to college, she was able to receive a scholarship because she was the granddaughter of a Civil War soldier. So that's we don't, 1916, and yet she was still connected to the Civil War. So she went to college, she married a Lutheran pastor, and they served together. Throughout her whole life, she was very active in trying to care for others. She went to Selma and marched because she wanted to be a part of civil rights. She was part of many women's movements. She was leading conferences on the role of women in church as part of the Missouri Synod branch of the Lutheran Church. And so for her whole life, she was always trying to do better, be better, and help others to be better. She sang in choirs, she served on committees, she just was very active, and she lived a very long life. So she was born during World War I, she lived through World War II, and all of these things, civil rights movements and so on. She did not die until 2018. She lived to be 102. And as I was reading about her, just what an amazing woman she was, she took up line dancing in her 80s because she wanted to stay fit and healthy. And when she was 95, she was honored as one of the oldest dance instructors that they had. And so she really, she worked hard throughout her life. She said she has so much that she wanted to learn and so much that she wanted to share and so much good that needed to be done in the world. And that's probably what helped drive her to live to such an old age and to be just a moving force throughout all of those years. So the hymn that she wrote that we're going to be singing this weekend is called Lord of All Nations, Grant Me Peace. Now usually when I do behind the music and sometimes even on the weekends, we don't do all the verses. But given the, just the beautiful text that she wrote and how fitting it seems to be, not only as we think about those who gave their lives for the country and as they were service members, but also as we're thinking about the tragedy with the children, I just want to read all these verses to you. So here we go. Lord of all nations. Lord of all nations, grant me grace to love all people, every race. And in each person may I see my kindred loved, redeemed by thee. Break down the wall that would divide thy children, Lord, on every side. My neighbor's good let me pursue. Let Christian love bind warm and true. Forgive me, Lord, where I have erred by loveless act and thoughtless word. Make me to see the wrong I do will crucify my Lord anew. Give me thy courage, Lord, to speak whenever strong oppress the weak. Should I myself the victim be, help me forgive, remembering thee. And the last verse. With thine own love may I be filled, and by thy Holy Spirit willed, that all I touch, where'er I be, may be divinely touched by thee. So we can't control things. Everything is beyond our control. But we do have the faith that God is there. He's with us. He sees. He knows even better than we do what we need. So this weekend, as we honor those who have died and we think about all these things that are going on in our world, and sometimes it can just be sort of a depressing place. But I hope that you can still pray and grasp and hang on to the faith that we have in God. I'm going to play the tune that we'll be singing it to this weekend. Think about the words, and I'll be back with you again next week. <laughs> 